Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Slow Podcast. This is episode 19. Hey. This time we have a lot of topics to talk about. <sighs> There's a lot to be told about in the variety section. So Ugh. get ready for a lengthy discussion to today. Uh, as always, you can check us out on Spotify, on Google Play Music, and on iTunes, as well as on YouTube. So go ahead and check out all of that. There's exclusive videos on YouTube, so you can go ahead and check that out. In fact, we we did something this weekend, didn't we, guys? Did we? Ye- yes. Some- I, yes. I did, did something. Jimmy was... Is, he's been talking about it for a few weeks now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'd like to ask him how it was. Yeah, so... How, how it was, Jimmy. Yeah, so I, I filmed the video with Josh and boy... <laughs> Oh, I was referring to your <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I thought you were like throwing it off to the side, like, oh, we're not supposed to say anything. No, uh, yeah, yeah. So it was finally California State Championships. Uh, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. Um, I came in a little bit under the weather and then um, had some like really bad elbow tendonitis that like from before flare up again. Like, the day before and the day of. So I kind of had to change up my numbers quite a bit. But uh, I executed exactly how I wanted. Uh, How it works at a meet is uh, there's three lifts. It's a squat, bench, and deadlift. You have three attempts for each of those. So you can't go any lower. So once you set a weight, right? Like, if if you miss it, you have to either take it again and try to get it. Or, or you get it and then you go higher. If you, Mm. you know, you can't like, oh, I'm going to try to go for like 500 pounds. Oh, okay, let's try 300, you know? (laughs) Uh. So uh, I went nine for nine, which means that like I hit each of my lifts. So uh, very happy for that. Um, I told Boy, it was like one of those things where second and first placed. Oh, no, I disconnected. (laughs) Of course. Of course. (laughs) Second and first place. Wow. Oh, oh, hello. Hello. Okay. Hello. You're back. Okay. Hello. Second and. Oh, you yeah. were saying. Second. Yeah, so second and. and uh, It was one of those things where second and first place crushed me completely. Mm. But then um, I, I also pretty handedly beat fourth place. Oh, okay. So. Mm. Like even like it was, even if I came in super duper healthy, as far as results, mm-hmm. like placings and goes, that would have been the same. But I mean, mm. it would have been nice to like hit like a little bit better numbers. But yeah, dude, I got my my bronze medal. Mm. Were you complaining about the design of that? Yes, but uh, it looks terrible. I just, if can you see that? It looks here, awful. Uh, the art. Yeah, the Jeez. design of the medal itself, I really like. I like the black inset with the bronze and stuff. But then, uh, yeah, the artwork is... It's pretty doo-doo. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's got some heft to it. Like, I was showing Boy, I was bringing it to my my, metal, my silver medal from last year. Like, look how the difference is thickness-wise. Mm. It's, like a very, it's a very heavy one. So thick. Yeah, dude. Thick like me, dude. Mm. But, yeah, that was my meat recap. I... I squatted 534 pounds, uh, bench 336, uh, and deadlifted 551. Like nice. The first one I'm very happy with. The second two are kind of doo doo. Mm. Like the bench was because of my elbow, I couldn't be helped, and deadlift. Okay, it's like one of those weird things. Like during my warm up, things were like. Oh, uh, oh, oh! It's really heavy today, guys. I don't know. Okay, let's let's change the numbers and be a little conservative. But then once I hit my last number, I was like, "Oh, I have so much more in me." Okay, like if you if you if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see, you can see the lifts there. Like the third attempt did not look like a third attempt. Like it's one of those things where the audience were getting kind of hyped because it's third attempts where it's like everyone's going to go in YOLO, so they're expecting it to be like a grinder. And they're like, "Oh!" And I just get it up, and they're like, "Oh, okay." He's like, Ugh. Right. It was just like, what? oh, he's up. All right. Oh, oh, okay. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. So once you once you submit the three numbers, you cannot change them. Right? You submit. You can't do like your second attempt. And be like, uh, 
Can I can I change my third one? To no, you can. You, you submit your attempts after each attempt. So you submit, oh, you okay. give them your first ones first, right? That that mm-hmm. one's just you give them to them at the beginning of the day, and then you hit your first one, and then or like so you do your first one. If you fail, then you can either take it again or still go up. If you want, if you're a gambling man, you know. I see. Um, <laughs> oh, I could do the first one. Let's go a little heavier. <laughs> well, it's like sometimes it's like okay, maybe it's a technical reason why you missed it, right? But mm-hmm. you know you have the strength to do more, and so you don't want to waste your time redoing an attempt. Mm-hmm. Waste a turn. Uh, yeah, yeah, because you only get three. So some people choose to go up, but then uh, I see. See, it was kind of it's like one of those weird days where I was like, well, my warm up went really slow. My first one went went like my first attempt went really well, so I was like, oh, okay, I feel good. Then my second attempt felt really slow. So I was like, oh, okay, maybe that's all I have for in me today. So I'll just take a small jump for my next one. Mm. And then that one just flew up and I was like, why, God? <laughs> <laughs> I should have I should have not been a bitch. That's uh <laughs> That's, that's the that's takeaway. The of, yeah. That's the lesson for this uh, so, so have you stuck with your with your second attempt? Would you still have gone in the same place you were? If I like, uh, what do you mean? Oh, okay, you only, if you I if I if I missed second. my first attempt, yeah, yeah, I would have still have gotten third place, oh, okay. which is why I probably should have like not been a bitch and just gone for it, you mm-hmm. know, like just to get something a little bit more exciting. But at did you see the rest rest of the competition or what, and see how they were doing? Mm, sorta, but it's like it's like one of those things where. When you're there, you're so much more concerned with just you do, doing you. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, it's only at the very top. It's very rarely that you can, like, battle it out with someone where you're that close where something they do might change up something you do. Mm-hmm. You know, for the most part, it's like you do. You just worry about doing the best you can and then you'll place wherever you place. Whereas, like, if you spend too much time, like, hmm, I don't know, dude, that guy squatted, like, this much. Maybe I should do this. It's, like, it's just wasting energy. Because mm-hmm. there was a one dude, uh, the, the the guy who beat, or who, not beat me, but, like, the guy who plays fourth. Um, he beat me in terms of bench press. Um, even if my elbow was healthy, he would still would have beat me for bench press. And I think that made mm-hmm. me a little bit more... I don't want to say anxious or nervous, but like, I was like, okay, let's try to play it safe with my deadlift. So I don't want to, I don't want to like bomb out and get a zero here, you know? Mm-hmm. So that, you know, if you, if you miss all three, then that, you get to get a zero score for that. And that, that, you <laughs> know, that's, <laughs> that's like five for me, that would have been 550 pounds, mm-hmm. you know, that I just didn't get added to my score. So, um, that's, yeah. So I think maybe that way, but like, yeah, if I thought about it, really my second attempt, I hit, um, I don't remember. I think it was like 540 or 545. So it wasn't that much lower. So I, I was still pretty dead set on getting third. I should have just I should have just went ham. So lesson of the day is don't be a little baby bag bitch, dude. All right. All right that's our lesson. So this is uh, this has been uh, the Slope Powerlifting Podcast. Thank you guys all for uh, <laughs> for watching. I feel like last week was the anime podcast and now we're the weightlifting. Oh, uh, it's always Julius Novo Chrono podcast, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. And then we met up. We had some some dinner. Yeah, dude. We had some Korean barbecue, as is off the tradition. Mm-hmm. Last year before state champs, I met up with Boy and RJ as well. And we got we went to the same exact place. <laughs> You grill in uh, Rancho Cucamonga, or Foothill Drives, right? Foothill Drive. Around there, huh? Yeah. I like it. It was a good place. Had uh, had the corn cheese, which neither Josh nor I could eat. But uh, <laughs> no, I was like, I could eat the cheese, but not the corn. You're like, I could, I could eat the corn, but not the cheese. <laughs> yeah, I feel like none of the places in San Diego have corn cheese. All right, so that was that was our weekend. That was our Cape, our Korean barbecue podcast. Thank you for listening. But anyways, let's get to the news. <clears throat> right. So let's start off with Ora Nana. As we know, uh, recently there's been a lot of coverage on her on Kiakite Kakanai, but she is also going to be in something else. Who knows more about this? Because I don't know a lot about this. 
Well, she's going to be in a short film called Mirai no Atashi. Mm-hmm. Um, it's like the future me or the me from the which future. Is, uh, being submitted into a film festival. Um, it's the it's like an international film festival. It's called Short Shorts Film Festival mm-hmm. and Asia 2018. Kind of. Can you- you but know anyway, that like, like an Asian person made that title, dude. Let's <laughs> yeah, like it, I guess this film festival started in Japan or something like that, mm. and so this film is in the Japan category uh, of nominations and stuff like that. Mm. Uh, the, the actual film film festival is going to take place June fourth uh, to the twenty fourth, and so <clears throat> it's kind of a double starring type thing because like the the lady, I guess, she's, mm-hmm. she's forty six years old. <gasps> oh my oh. god! <laughs> and like, I guess the story is she like time slips and mm. goes back in time and meets her younger self, which is played by Oranana. Mm-hmm. And then you know, things happen, lessons are learned, mm. and somehow she doesn't die because she met herself. Oh yeah, dude, that's that's time traveling rule number one, dude. Right, that that well, that's I guess. Depends on which movie or whatever. It's one of the time traveling paradoxes. Uh-huh. Right? You never meet yourself. You just you just disappear from existence because mm-hmm. yeah. for some reason. Either that or like she has to parallel universe. Or yeah, something like that. Yeah. So like yeah, that and I guess in, in and that then, parallel, the, yeah. the Odanana she she meets becomes uh, a member of Kiyakizaka. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Ooh, they released a trailer for it. I haven't watched this. Just like a real trailer. <laughs> Shouldn't tell you anything. Mm. That's true. I don't, I, it's not like Infinity War. <laughs> we all know all what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if the Avengers are going to defeat Thanos, guys. <laughs> oh, of course they are. <laughs> oh, no, man. This seems awfully dicey, dude. I mean, they'll take a few this, casualties. The odds seem stacked against us this time. They will defeat him. <laughs> so yeah, that's the uh, that's a little short film that Odana is going to start. Yeah, that's it looks like cool it's going to be cute. You know, I, mm-hmm. yeah. I feel like it, it. It could turn around and be like really sad at the end. Uh, I could see that. It's, I feel, I yeah. it's, it's a pretty, Japanese. Well, it is. Short yeah, it is a though. Japanese. Yeah, it is an Asian short film. She's gonna be like, "Oh, I have news for you. In the future, you get ovarian cancer. Like, live your life <laughs> now to the fullest. Live your life to the fullest. Maybe like, that's oh, why. Right. She te- she decides to tell young Odanana or young whatever her character's name is. <laughs> yeah, keep calling her. Please, don't don't be such a fuck up later in life. Be, her name's just gonna be da- Danny. <laughs> go uh go audition for that idol group. <laughs> go. Live your dreams. Go and be in Kayaki Zaka Forty Six, dude. <laughs> yeah. You'll get." Sick M M one jackets, dude. The M1s, <laughs> no dude. one else will have it. Yeah, you'll be the most popular girl within the group. with the girls. Yeah, no, she doesn't say that part. She's the most popular girl, and then she's like, "Oh, like, okay. what, really? <laughs> <That'd be popular. laughs> yeah, <laughs> this isn't what I wanted." L- little did she know. Uh, so yeah. Now, uh, when they say international, does that mean like just different countries are participating, or is it going to be in different places? Uh, it's mostly going to be in Japan, I think. But oh, like, okay. Mm-hmm. The actual films that are going to be submitted is, are from different countries. I'm going to assume it's international. Yeah. Mm. That's why there's the Japan. Yeah. Japan like, class category. category. Or whatever other country category. So. Mm. Yeah. All right, I'm, who, who's taking bets? Like, I, I project at least like three terminal diseases. <laughs> Throughout this festival, <laughs> from each from each category, from yeah. Each category. yeah. <laughs> I guess I, I'll put a I put a poverty in one of those, and I'll put a yep. uh, like like a, a health. I guess health disease is the same thing. I was gonna say like obesity or like anorexia. No, it's never that. Dude. No, it's dude, always, it's always like terminal, terminal illness. Illness, mm. like not even like documentary kind of stuff. Nah, it's like you found out that she's your oh, I guess it's more like sister, story, right? but she has cancer or some shit. Mm. It's always oh, you adopt a girl and then you find out she has cancer. It's always the case. Mm. Get a dog, find out has cancer. 
It's like, oh no, she's diabetic. Oh, well, let's change her diet. And yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh no, he's lactose intolerant. Here, go to Costco and get a box of like two million lactate pills for three dollars. The end. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like it has to be like a nondescript one because if they give you a real disease, they're like. It's too much information that people can be like, that's not accurate, or that's not... Mm. It's just like, oh no, I just have the illness. The illness. <laughs> what does it do? I'm dying. <laughs> what does it do? It looks good on camera. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> oh, there's blood. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Something like that. Alright, so hopefully that comes out one day. We can see that. Um, Alright, next up. Uh, speaking of starring and stuff... We have the return of Techie. <laughs> she's, she's okay, guys. <laughs> I'm so worried. <laughs> she's okay. And she's starring in Hibiki. Shosetsuka ni naru. Ho, ho. Ho, ho. Ho, ho. It's going to be a movie adaptation of a mango, guys. Yep. And it's, it starts coming out. September 19th, and it's about a high school novelist. I feel like that's a lot of plots for manga nowadays. Well, apparently her character is like a, a emo. genius, like creative mm. writer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Emo. Yeah, yeah. And like, you know, it's it's about like some publisher or somebody who like discovers her work. Yeah, but like she, she, like she submits it to like a, a contest yeah, or something like that. And it like breaks all the rules. I sh- it shouldn't even go, but like, oh, it's so good. I have to. I can't stop reading it. <sighs> so Techi is starring alongside Kitagawa Keiko. Mm-hmm. Mm. Lego. Like, so good. Lego. Everyone's like, wow, I'm so happy for Techi. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, dude. Uh, hanging out with Iguchi Mao. Lego, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, the manga won the, uh, like, a manga award last year mm. and um you know uh, a few other uh manga who, uh which have won the the manga taisho have been turned into movies also like chihaya furu mm-hmm. uh, so we'll see how this is man mm. yeah there are a lot of people like posting on twitter like images from like the manga and there's one where she's like in underwear and people are like oh no touchy <laughs> Dude. Oh no! Or oh no! <laughs> I mean, like uh, I mean, how, know, how how old she is? Oh no! <laughs> when a uh, video girl I was announced, oh yeah, uh-huh, everyone uh-huh. found those manga pages and they're like, uh-huh. oh no, Nishino uh-huh. Nase, <laughs> that Birdman gif. But yeah, I well, I mean, to be fair, this is like a movie adaptation, right? This is like, also a movie yeah, I'm I'm just saying that that's there's gonna be a lot of pages that will never make it. Into the movie, the, um, right? The guy who's directing this also directed like uh, a few um, like high school um, movie adaptations that seem pretty like bright in in nature. Oh, okay. Like that, I want to eat your pancreas <laughs> movie. <laughs> Wait, what? It's like it's based off a book or whatever, and it's the titles "I Want to Eat Your Pancreas." And I heard it was a pretty good book. Mm. But um, those seem a little bit more like drama and lighthearted. But this one, from what I've the little that I've read, the descriptions of it might seem a little bit more uh, darker tone. Mm. Yeah, it seems very um, not, not not emo in like a bad way, but definitely like um, something that ve- would have very much appealed to like like ninth through tenth grade James. Yeah. It's a seinen manga, so oh, it's, it is? it's not meant for high schoolers, but I don't know. Well, Maybe there's a lot of intrigue. But emo 9th, mm-hmm. 10th grade James read a lot of seinen manga. Oh, yes. Because it made him feel mature and edgy. Right. <laughs> um, like, when this was first announced and I like started researching it, kind of, it didn't really seem that interesting to me. At least the source material. I'm like, did you write a novel? That's... I don't even read mm. books, man. <laughs> now you want me to <laughs> watch a movie about books? 
But I guess it's pretty good. Like the plot's pretty good. I guess the characters mm. are good. So we'll see. Yeah, I feel like it. It might be heavy on characters since, like, I don't know how much they could go in depth with like writing a book other than like conflicts from like outside parties. Well, I think that's right. the thing. It's like about like chain, like trying to shake up the industry and stuff like that, right? Like, mm. uh, like um. Uh, I feel like not just like books and stuff like that, but a lot of like um, the creative sectors in Japan right now are kind of like feeling stagnant, mm. right? So maybe maybe that's what it has to do. I mean, I I am only telling like gleaming this from the surface. So if you if y'all actually legitimately read this, let us know. Yeah, like I'm not gonna go out and start reading this. So. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm good, dude. But I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm like skimming through some pages right I now. I like shonen manga, bro. <laughs> yeah. Me too, brother. I'm I'm too old to to be edgy. You know what I mean? But um, I mean, it looks a lot not as dark and emo as I had thought originally. So mm. upon upon skimming, so we'll see. Hopefully, yeah. It's... Apparently, apparently the author when he saw it, Silent Majority, he's like. That has to be the main character for the movie. See, that's what makes me nervous, dude. I was like, oh, look at that little emo child, dude. I, I need it. This is such, like, uh, big expectations for her, though, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is going to be her first movie, and it's, like, in Japanese standards, a pretty big one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Cue, uh, they- cue the Zankyoku no Yakutama, she, like... Fact. <laughs> Fact. Well, like, yeah, her starring roles in those dramas weren't bad. I thought. Um, mm-hmm. But she kind of played the same ish character. Like the cool and smart girl in the class type of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which I guess yeah, I say, this, probably, this yeah, character yeah, yeah. is also the same. So uh, we'll see, I guess. Just been training up for it. Yeah. I mean, you know, she's. Because, like, you see Tetchi when she's not, like, the performer Tetchi, right? And then, like, she's, like, it's, like, 180. She's this cute kid, right? So, I mean, if anything, I think she has the chops, right? Like, now can she convert, like, uh, the performance aspect to like, from, like, being a character dancing in a music video or on stage to, like, actually delivering lines and stuff mm-hmm. like that, Portraying right? a character. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, the expressiveness, I think, is there. But, like, mm-hmm. as far as delivering lines and stuff, I think we'll have to see. But, I mean, yeah, it's, it's certainly like, in her wheelhouse, right? Mm-hmm. I would hope so. Yeah. Uh, the worst thing about this is though, she has to grow out her hair, dude. <laughs> no, keep it short, dude. You can you can make it original. You don't have to. You don't have to one for one this, please. Since when has Tetchi had longer hair, dude? Never. <laughs> it's always like her, and her audition pictures. That was like the shortest ever. <laughs> it's it's ever been until you know they went to uh, Kazenif Karekano. Mm-hmm. That's a long hair. Idol fan. This is terrible news. <laughs> this is awful news. You mean as a short hair? Oh, yeah. <laughs> as a short hair. Thank you for correcting me. I, I, I don't want people flaming you for a second. Boys Boy, yeah. get worried, dude. I'm like, I'm like Googling images. Like, what's the, liar. What is the longest I've seen her hair? It's it probably like Sekai. 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 Yeah, yeah Sekai. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah the, the main character of the manga has longer hair. Mm-hmm. They're probably gonna put extensions or something. I'll we'll see. A magic character. Oh, here's one where she actually kind of has a uh, um similar hair. I don't know what this is. Well, from. if it's a more recent picture, then no, it's that a, doesn't count. No, it's an old one here. She's doing that for. No, oh, here. But, let, me, um, let me show you here. It's like an older one. It's in the. What is what is that? Is that a? Otono wa shinjite kurenai. Oh yeah, that's what it looks like. That's the yeah. outfit for it, I think. Yeah, I think that's yeah, like that's around the length, same length hair, right? Yeah, it's like around there. I think it's a little bit shorter. Yeah. Um. So yeah, this is uh, this. I guess this is why she wasn't in at second anniversary, <sighs> guys. And that's why she was in other stuff. Scheduling conflicts because she was shooting a movie. I mean, we kind of uh, speculated. I guess I don't want to. Yeah, it, it was either at a beach or doing something like that. It was either something really bad for her or something really good. Really good, yeah, good. yeah. But I guess this is it. She's 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 shooting a movie. It was it's it wasn't an Infinity War. But, <laughs> uh, yeah. Oof. 
Uh-huh. Uh, but yeah, she's going to be in a movie. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. September 19th. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Be sure to check it out if it comes out. So for sure, she's not going to be in any Garasu Oware promotional material. Are they still filming? <laughs> I assume. So. I mean, but I mean, she has returned to some of her her stuff, right? Like uh, maybe it's like wrapping up, like like to compare it to like Hollywood production, right? Like Hollywood movies are always like, bam! Oh, this person starring in this movie, mm-hmm. and then and like, they start shooting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cause like, like a big summer blockbuster like Thor Ragnarok only has like a ninety day shooting schedule, right? Oh, I'm dying! I'm dying! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so I mean, if you think they're like starting to shoot, or do you think they've already shot the film? Because it's like, what well, probably post they've right? They've have to have already shot because of. Or scheduling conflicts with mm-hmm. the second anniversary. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. so maybe that means she's she's back now, dude. You know, it's not like she has uh, to she has to edit the movie too. <laughs> just sit there. All right, <laughs> this, this this button yeah. does this. This is how you cut. If like the shooting schedule is not that long, then yeah, probably. Because mm. then they now they have to start promoting right. This, this, yeah, yeah. Uh, the trailers and you know all that shit. Mm. Like build up the hype. Yeah. yeah, I don't. I don't think they need the 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 Thor Ragnarok shooting schedule. You know, <laughs> so, it's yeah. not like they have like different locations to go to or like uh, a lot choreography, of, a lot of fight choreography and stuff, yeah. right? So, uh-huh. Uh-huh. yeah. So good thing for her, like doing new stuff out there. Uh, but there's two new people who are doing new stuff. Oh, and that is Habu and Higuchi. Both from the respective groups. H and H, now, dude. H and H now being models for J and J. Oh, I think it's just JJ. I wanted to well, yeah, because I did the I did the the H and H. Here, a little little transition. Ooh, look at them, dude! Look, look how bright those smiles, dude. Yeah, made it. I'm happy for Habu. Uh, she's tall. <laughs> <laughs> Na- naturally. Time. Make her a model, right? Yeah, <laughs> I feel like she she had the most uh, model like aesthetics to start off with, mm-hmm. off the bat out of Kiyaki Zaka, right? Mm-hmm. So it's glad that that's finally uh, coming into fruition. But also for Higuchi, I'm glad that they finally noticed her talent and able to use her to be an exclusive model. Uh, one more model for Nogizaka, well, mm-hmm. Kiyaki Zaka too, of course, but Nogizaka has it. Bunch of models. Uh, I got a lesion, dude. <laughs> and that's funny because uh, they're all under different magazines, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They don't like double up on Ray or whatever. It's yeah. kind of like. You can ah, only we're have we're, one of them. Yeah. You're trying to take over. Either <laughs> that or the or the magazines are like, you already have a Nogizaka member? That's. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No thanks. Mm hmm. I'm sure no, no wouldn't say no if Mayan applied. Huh? No, Mayan's, oh, yeah. Mayan's too good Super for that uh, exclusive no, no, contract no. now, dude. Mayan's mm. done it with modern uh, mm-hmm. exclusive magazines. But, uh, you think... Uh, yeah, j- j- okay. Just like how she was in the cover for a brand new magazine. Uh-huh. It was for Big Comic Spirits. And yes. did you have you guys seen those Pictures slash behind the scenes. Oh yeah, son. Uh, I know you would have you, lewd boy. Uh, it was all over my Twitter feed. Like I couldn't, mm. I Get couldn't even it? block that shit, dude. It's just, bam, they're everywhere, dude. Not I thought you would block it. I like I went on my my Instagram Discover, all right, and it was just all different people posting that, like Instagram's algorithm, just like yeah, I know you want this, you disgusting little <laughs> little idol freak boy. Oh, but you're not wrong though. <laughs> yeah, so there's, you know, it's the, in the issue, there's an interview where she talks about, you know, recent happenings in Nogizaka, like mm-hmm. Koma's grad, and then you're single. But who cares about that, right? Well, no one cares about that shit. There's freaking Mayan gravy, which has not been a thing for a while. 
Yeah, well, what was the last time? I can't even think of it. I can't even think of the last thing that like Mayan has done. Maybe like a couple of weeks ago, I feel like. And that's that's a long time for like Mayan. Was it? I only I obviously she's in magazines, right? Or mm. fashion magazines. Yeah. Which is like a very different from a gravy shoot. It's, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Where it's all glamour and her tits or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People just screenshotting that, that behind the so, scenes video. Just all, all the behind the scenes. scenes video. Like the one where yeah, where she's wearing like the shorts and the low cut mm-hmm. top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's like a part where she's like on the chairs, mm-hmm. but they're like, oh, go to the other chair. Mm-hmm. And for some reason, like she just like steps so, over with yeah. her knee. Yeah. Like, what? Well, <laughs> Like, like, it's oh, like on the floor walking to yeah, it. Yeah, instead like, of just like just standing up, she like moves over. <laughs> mm-hmm. And just then everyone over. like smashed their print screen button. <laughs> and it's like, Ugh, this is it, boys. <laughs> what? what was the point of that? Like, what? why would you do this? That's because she knew, dude. That's how next level Maya is, dude. Right? She's, oh, of course. She's just like, course. oh, they're shooting. They're obviously going to release a behind the scenes of this. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna give those little nerds something that something that they're just gonna like think about for the next like twelve days after they see it. <laughs> we'll give them a little bit of service here. Yeah. Mm. And then, uh, then she, yeah, she she opens up her Twitter. She sees all those screenshots. She's like, oh, "Kaku Yeah, <laughs> just that's Kaku means plan. By the way. Yeah. yeah, you get the little translations note right there. Mm. <laughs> Not the top translators uh, note. <laughs> uh, yeah, she looks good as usual. But uh, yeah, going back to JJ. Uh, do you, what do, about it? Do you, do you follow that magazine at all, boy? Um, there's a girl from Idling that I liked, semi liked. Okawai. She's an exclusive model for JJ. Oh, okay. Also, the uh, Fuji sisters from E Girls are also JJ models, except you know, except Shuka Shuka, Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bud. That's the only reason uh, I know of. See, the only reason I know of these magazines are because, like, idols who I follow or, you know, you know yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah. that are mm. exclusive models for these magazines. That's the only reason I know. So I was only going to backtrack because I was just curious if you knew what kind of aesthetic we can uh, expect. Uh, I don't know. The wiki says that they, they appeal to 17 to 26-year-olds. The young, the young adults. Young adults? Okay, mm. so a little bit more mature, but mm. not a... Not quite like uh not like high fashion or something like that, right? No, no. Yeah. And certainly not straight up uh gravy like gravy, yeah. Like Mayan fan like, service and Shunkan big comic spirits. No. Yeah, if it's like a like a like a <laughs> crawling yeah. around. <laughs> <laughs> no, just, it's so much more dimmer like the fashion magazine shoots. You know? Yeah, yeah. It's so funny. It, it's so the disparity seeing uh Mayan doing that again it's so right. that's why i was kind of like surprised when i saw everyone on twitter mm. the pictures and i was like that's why she's getting the money from the from gravy shots it's like wait a minute <laughs> that, she doesn't do this kind it. of stuff anymore what the hell maybe she missed like, you it. only <laughs> i mean like she only does that in her photo books yeah yeah mm. you know she's so. like oh it's been a while it's uh, let's, let's get let, let, let let's me see be, who has the best offer <laughs> let me become the people's champ dude give, give them what they want <laughs> for a sec Speaking of her photo book, though, uh, Passport did another reprint. Another one. It's on like its 18th reprint. 18th. Jesus Christ. Um, and uh, they, they printed 5,000 copies. Mm. So the total is up to like 2,900. Mm-hmm. No, 290,000. Sorry. Oh, okay. It's a big difference. <laughs> so it's uh, there's a lot. That's more than some idols even sell singles in their whole career. <laughs> like, that's, who keeps buying these books? That's more like, than Jesus. enough for all of Barbados to have one. <laughs> almost, <laughs> enough for, Barbados. <laughs> almost enough for everyone on Iceland to have one. Oh. It's like, goddamn, dude, who keeps buying these books? Like, every couple of weeks, there's always a reprint for some reason. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Are people like, just like, is it that out of stock that people are just like going for it? Well, I mean that's that's the appeal of having a lot of like casual fans, right? Like, mm-hmm. it's almost uh, enough for everyone in Guam to have two. I'm not sure. But <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> like the uh, there was like the news, you know, morning news, entertainment news. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
where they talk about stuff like this. And it's like, mm-hmm. yeah, a lot of like girls buy these buy this book. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I've heard like, that. Girls in particular, you know, girls that are like, oh shit, I want her face, bro. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and we get these like lewd but cool shots. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. It's, yeah, it's, it's a different mindset for sure. Yeah, it's not the dirty Woda buying like. <laughs> Mm. You know, 100 copies every time she reprints the book or whatever mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and I feel like that worked out for uh, other groups uh, Yoshida Akari too mm. well I feel like that's uh, a lot of the reason why 46 group has become such like a more accessible mm. group to not just uh, to like fan wise right like mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. they appeal to girls yeah basically mm-hmm. yeah like, like if you say like I, I think I heard someone say this, but I think they said they told someone they like the forty, the other group, and then they're like, oh, oh, okay, you, you're one of those. But then when he said he liked one of the forty six groups, they're like, oh, cool, who, who do you like? Yeah, it dude. was like that sort of that sort of vibe to it. Yeah, it'd be like, oh, yeah, you know, I like Keiki Zaka. It's like, oh, I see you're you're a sophisticated culture man who wants to like, <laughs> you know, fight the system of oppressions that be. But like, if you're like, oh, I like the other group, it's like. Ugh, you disgusting freak. Ugh. Here, <laughs> take hurt. this gravy. <laughs> oh, yeah, the other group has that, you. that bad like, yeah, dude. It's, it's the unfortunate. stigma of, yeah. the, the, stigma of <laughs> the ratchet high school, whereas Sakamichi series groups are... Refined young cool. ladies. <laughs> ladies. It's sad, because it's not that different. It's just that the way they're, they were like... Trade. Yeah, it's just the marketing. Marketing, marketing exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then you actually get to the meat and bones of it, and it's like not too far off, right? <laughs> yeah, it's like, I mean, that's well, like almost the same thing. you can say that with every idol. Yeah, group, yeah, right? yeah. Thing, even yeah. with like K-pop groups, like in the end, they're all it's, it's like ice cream, just different flavors, dude. Mm. They're all a dessert, right? Or pizza, just different flavors. One just has mm. pineapples on it. Yeah, so so, 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 so nobody eats bread. that one. Uh, um. Anyway. What else we got? We Some got more music stuff. videos. Ooh. A lot of music videos. Oh my word. So Nogizaka released the music videos for four of the coupling tracks. <laughs> I like how you entered it like, like you're in your show. <laughs> uh, I mean, they're, they're really synchronicity first, obviously, but now... What's wrong, Jimmy? They're, they're slowly releasing all of them. We went over the track list a few episodes ago. Mm-hmm. So first gen, second gen, and third gen each have... A song mm-hmm. uh undergirls still has a song there's two subunits one with mm-hmm. sakurai ikuta and eto misa mm-hmm. was it mm-hmm. like they have a song and then uh the four third gens were in mm-hmm. the synchronicity senbats uh kubo ozono yoda and yamashita mm-hmm. they have a song and so we're only missing one music video then right that was two. Well, we don't have one. We don't have one's music the, videos. One's on the regular. Okay, that never gets a music video. Yeah, that never gets one. And I think that's the that's the third gen one. Okay, so yeah. So we don't. We're not getting that one. Um, we're just missing the Etomisa with uh, Ikuta and Sakura. Yeah, yeah, that one. Um, so maybe yeah. next week they'll have it. Maybe. So they've been releasing uh, them in pairs so far. Mm-hmm. Um, they released against the first gen song and. Toki Toki Meki Meki, the third gen song first. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then um, after that, they released the Undergirl song, Atarashi Sekai. Mm-hmm. And the second, and gen, second right? gen song mm-hmm. called Scout mm-hmm. Man. Yeah. Wait, the third gen one is out too, right? Yeah, Toki Toki. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, yeah. yeah. So, first up in the music videos is Nogi Zaka with Against. And this is the first gen. I actually really like this one. And we'll go ahead and watch it. Okay. Now, uh, I actually really like this music video because the after effects and the way that everything's going to the right. Apparently, uh, Ikoma Arena was the one who conceived this music video. Like, oh, yeah, really? Can we all just wear, like... Cool clothes? <laughs> cool clothes for once? I don't want to dress like an idol. <laughs> no. And then, like, they have, like, a lot of stage props here and, like, the shadows play a big part into it. And it's supposed to be like a one to- one shot kind of take, mm-hmm. like a a not one shot one take shot one take shot thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Like you, thanks to the help of After Effects. Yeah. 
We just gotta get some hard lines with these walls, guys, and we Gucci. Mm. <laughs> That's very stylish. I like it. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. I mean, everyone is. And then, like, they multiply. They're, like, hidden in there multiplied. You notice? Mm-hmm. When they started, like, dancing in the chorus. Uh, like, up to up to the first, at the end of the first chorus, it's just the uh, popular I don't, I don't like first that. gens. I don't like that mm. weird uh, faded crop thing that, like, the feathering <laughs> around, like, the uh, feather mask. It's... Oh. <laughs> I don't know, like, it looks like you're looking through a prism. I'm like, nah, dude, it looks weird. <laughs> I, I like how Asuka did, like, the backwards Michael Jackson thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, this. It's like a prism or something, right? Uh, yeah, it's, it's like you're looking through, like, the, the prism in front of the lens. Yeah, I'm not, I don't know, it looks kind of corny to me, but that's, like, a really minor complaint, though. I don't... Mm. So the second chord is like, hey, look at the other first gens who are not as popular. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it kind of felt like. And well, here did, we go. Yeah, uh, I like then, the uh, scrolling through, like the yeah. Everyone has yeah, their own this colors. Yeah, this is nice. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if everyone ha- like has their lights, the colors, like for this. That'd be pretty cool. Well, my end was, wasn't all white, so oh. probably not. Oh, so it isn't then. Yeah, because it's purple. Yeah. So. And then we got the extension where everyone goes back, and then they just repeats. It's pretty cool. I wonder Hurry how up. this would be. Dancing wise, like on a stage. Oh, yeah. It, mm. uh, I, know, I feel like Seishiro did the choreography for this too. Mm-hmm. Like, there's a lot of, you know, similar like hand movements and stuff mm-hmm. from their other music videos or choreography. Mm-hmm. I just it's need a lot an I- in the hands. Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 I just need an ID on on Mayan <laughs> <laughs> So an ID that uh so an ID that uh neon hoodie for me. <laughs> Is neon back in? Neon's gonna be in. Mm. Fashion no, season. Now that Mayan wears it, neon, like neon's gonna be in. <laughs> <laughs> she lays the the fashion work down. Yeah, I do. I like the little Ikoma solo mm. part. Yeah, it's cool during the solo. Mm-hmm. Ah, the original touchy. Oh, I like this part right here where she like, <laughs> multiplies. Mm-hmm. She's that shadow clone, right? <laughs> yeah, dude. Ah. <laughs> also, Goku and Trunk shows up. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of chest pumps in this too. The part where she like walks through all of them mm-hmm. is pretty cool. Mm. Uh, this song kind of sounds like. I don't. Know, what do you guys think of the song? Uh, it's it's on the cooler side, you know, because mm-hmm. they're mature, right? Because they're they're yeah, first yeah, gens. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Got that a little bit of that rock feel to it. Mm-hmm. It's not bad. Yeah, it's like it's kind of like slight like pop EDM beat, and then you get like some guitars, and you're like, oh, okay. It's uh mm-hmm. yeah. At least the uh, the arrangement is, is dynamic enough. Yeah, yeah. It's got a lot more going on for it. Like uh, that ending like part is very like. Mm. 90s style. Mm. Koma looks like straight out of a JoJo comic right there, dude. (laughs) Again. I like that. You know how she walks off and she's like, I'm done, boys. And she walks in the opposite direction of how the camera was going. I'm out of here, boys. Yep, so so that that was the... I was against the first gens. Now we got the third gen music video, Toki Toki Meki Meki. Oh, give me, give me Already that. Already at a million views. Give me that Hoshino Gen, dude. Give me oh, that. Hell yeah. Give me that Nige uh, Haji ending. Got the calendar, you know. We got that Final Cut Pro <laughs> template. Freaking Ren Tan, so excited for yeah, summer dude. and shit. Because she's. I a like this music kid. video because I can read it. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like very like fashion magazine esque with a. The titling, like very like young, young girl Japanese. Yeah, titling. yeah, yeah. Like be on like a seventeen magazine or something, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, but this this <laughs> this idol filter is hardcore. This yeah, video. dude, the haze. Oh my gosh, the idol filter. Someone slide that's that D haze up, dude, please. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some contrast. <laughs> she she like oh. runs outside and it's raining, mm-hmm. and apparently it was actually raining when they shot this video. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Here we go, guys. <laughs> what? Koi dance? 
<laughs> yeah, I came out of nowhere. It's super cute, though. It's cute, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Whose pajamas do you guys like the most? Uh, the Zucks, because uh, it's that lewd shit, dude. <laughs> she knows what she's doing. Uh, I thought you were mm-hmm. going to say Yoda, because it's like hella oversized. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that's my like, honest opinion, but... Uh, but as far as like who gets the best one, we all know the Zuck knows what she's doing, dude. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <That> suck. <laughs> I, I like Minami's because it's very tight forming compared to everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, they're going to sleep, Josh. Come on, man. <laughs> she's trying to get comfortable, Josh. She just wants to feel secure. What's oh, look, wrong? There's with you? Yoda right there. You saw her with the lightsaber. Oh man, that reference. Mm. That reference. So someone, someone who was in charge of the, this music video was like, she needs to get a lightsaber. But she shouldn't even understand why. She's like, I know, right? right? I guess. <laughs> like, okay, whatever this is. There's knife oh, and knife. fork. Mm-hmm. Look at Skigundan. Oh, we got that. We got that zoom in slash zoom out kind of thing where they dolly in and then they zoom out. The you Jaws shot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the yeah, yeah, realization yeah. shot. Like, oh shit. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> Step back while you zoom in, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so can I say dude. that Sakaguchi really sticks out in this music video? Cause she in the front, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> but but so like f- the center doesn't stand out as much as her. Like I think that's that's just because uh, she's more your taste, dude. Oh, is that what it is? You lewd boy. <laughs> Am I just biased? Yeah, she's dude. just your type, maybe. Oh, they like throw a Come party on, for her and shit. How, how are you gonna it's a, ignore Rentan, dude? It's my it's my child, dude. <laughs> I mean, she... Then we got different eating shots over here. Playing around. They're like hunting for something. Dude, it's like I like her, but Umezawa stands out so much in any third gen video because ha- she's like the old one, dude. It doesn't help that she likes she likes a lot older than everyone else. Yeah, is, yeah. Man. Like not only is she already taller than everyone, but she just looks. She has a much more mature look. Mm-hmm. I guess yeah. like like Christy's older than her, but mm. but she still doesn't have that look. Like yeah. Christy blends in more with the other girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think she started off like on a better foot than everyone else. I think that's why. Well, then Yamashita started off on a good foot too, so I can't really say that. So yeah, got the new balances, dude. Yeah, dude. They were com- they were comfortable for this dance, dude. Yeah. Mm. Sponsored by Ren Tan. Yeah, what a what a oh. sweet what a sweet child, dude. Gives her gives her father <laughs> so much hope for child. the future. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand this the, part of the, the music freeze video. shot is funny. It's her snoring, dude. Yeah, dude. Because uh, they were hunting that Tsuchinoko or whatever the fuck. Mm-hmm. Mm. Finally found it. You know, so when I first watched it, I was like, what is that noise? What are the, why is there a free, freeze frame all of a sudden? <laughs> Alright, that was third gen with Toki Toki Meki Meki, or Koi, rather. Oh, oh. Mm-hmm. With my boy Hoshino Gen. See, like, you can't do this move anymore it's without done. It's everyone done, dude. bringing up Koi Dance. That shit was so popular. Mm-hmm. It was, like, it's too popular. That viral sensation, dude. Mm-hmm. But anyway, uh, I thought it was cute. Though. Yeah, yeah. The music video is cute. It's just the idle filter is too it's strong. There. It's like, it's, it was just there. The idle filter is too much sometimes. And mm-hmm. it's not just Mogizaka. You know, countless other idle videos have looked like this. Mm-hmm. It's like, ah, haze. But anyway. Haze a contrast. So this is the uh, Undergirls song. Uh, Atarashi Sekai. Here's like on the uh, news post on the official website it says, <laughs> the underground song <laughs> a new world where Ayane Suzuki serves as the center will take photographs at the Kudo Yao Art Museum I'm pretty sure that's mistranslated in Gunma and the National Astronomical Observatory Nobeyama in Nagano Prefecture in late February I'm, I'm pretty sure those two places are mistranslated the, so, so shot in Guam and in Japan Gunma no, oh, Gunma Oh. It says, uh, the theme is that girls who, are, who have longing for the new world will send out their message, exclamation mark, because the antenna that is reflected in the image at the National Astronomical Observatory, Nobuyama, is an antenna that is actually in operation at the time of shooting, 
It's considered to be prohibited to bring in a machine that emits radio waves such as mobile or Wi-Fi. And everyone, including the staff there, is also an episode... Okay, they missed they missed a period. <laughs> there is also an episode that con- contacts were made in a primitive way of going and connecting. Wow, I have no idea what that's telling me. <laughs> I-, I thought it was going somewhere like, so they couldn't bring their cell phones or something like that. And it's like, I think that's no, what just- it was like saying but it mistranslated things oh, okay. so well, everyone yeah. including the staff couldn't bring like because it's an actual place mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that's you know as- astronomical place that's why like in the music video you see all those little satellite things mm-hmm. wait so who plays Aladdin and who plays Jasmine I, Suzuki Ayane is Aladdin okay alright and uh, we'll find out who Jasmine is okay. on, what about Carpet hmm that's a surprise. Yeah. <laughs> Genie's not in this yeah. scene, so it's fine. Mm, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's Super 8 film. It's like them trying to connect. Yeah, dude. It's getting real, dude. World. Oh, look at that. Look at that old... concept uh, seems quite cool. Um, why does this video feel like a little bit stock imagey? Like the one with the computer? Probably, probably is. Because <laughs> it was stock image. I don't know. Yeah, you see like the masking on the uh, the screen, dude. It's mm-hmm. like right. Why why get our own footage when we could just mm-hmm. Google search? <laughs> yeah, that's what I do with the All thumbnails. Right. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude! Why get your own image? Right, why go out and take a picture of a thug? Yeah, of a thug wife. Uh-huh. So they're like in a class or something mm-hmm. like that. I guess they're trapped in a different world or something. Let me is, write is these that... calculations. <laughs> Let me just write down random numbers. What do, what do they mean, though? Hey, wake up. So pretty, pretty slow paced. Uh, you tell. song. Let's go. Cool. I uh, I like Ayane as a singer. She mm. hasn't really gotten much mm-hmm. from Noizaka. So. Nice to see a second gen member get some love. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the last under center was Higuchi, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. System and I like error. How third gen, oh, oh no! I like how third gen are in this now. So yeah, they're like part of the under now. Yeah, they're actually fully integrated now. Mm-hmm. Must be nice. So that's why, like, in the wide shot, there's a lot of them. <laughs> like, yeah, dude. Was there that many undergirls? <laughs> so I was like, yes. oh, thank goodness we got now. this many satellites, dude. <laughs> <laughs> No, there's three missing. <laughs> or satellite dishes, rather. I- I'm still wondering why they show the shot of like three sat- satellite dishes without people on it. Okay, Were the people missing there. for the shoot? Probably. Keychan's not there, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's there's Nojo. Yeah. Oh, we gotta add something in the yeah, news. Yeah, we gotta, Nojo. We, gotta, we gotta send this uh, video to our, our boy Nick, dude. So you can oh, finally yeah, we gotta- um, see Maya and and Johnson in uh, the music video. I feel like you can see Maya more in the other music video we watched. Mm-hmm. You still gotta in the, look out in the first for gen her. one. Yeah, both of them in that one, right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah we can send we can send both of them. <laughs> this song, this song's kind of nice. It's got a lot of like uplifting a bit of feel like, to yeah, with like some very uh, like somber imagery. Did you see that she used the spark plug thing on a motherboard? <laughs> Just, I don't think that's how it works. This is how you download more RAM, right? Yeah, this is how you download more RAM and get 46 videos. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is how you watch the new Nogi Chu. This is the process we have to go to to watch these music videos. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh, I'm trying to do that, dude. Uh, I have no. They figured out the math to shoot lasers. That was like visual representation of them sending out a message. Mm. Kind of like this kind of Latin guitar mm. going on. Those train tracks, dude. It looks like it. It's Swollen. probably like stuff they use to like transport equipment yeah. and stuff like that. Mm. It's like super hazy that day. I wonder if, if I guess it kind of fits the mood, right? What they're going for. Uh, yeah, but I guess you got to consider the location too, right? Mm-hmm. It's like an astronomical place. 
probably wouldn't be near a city, right? Because of all the light pollution. Oh, yeah. Huh? You can see yeah. shit in the sky. Mm -hmm. so. Oh, you turns a lot off. <laughs> Damn it, you turn. It's okay. No, every, so everybody like else is off, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just you turns are just perfectly on time. Yeah, dude. Come on, bro. Sheev's the one with the, the right moves. Yeah, dude. Mm. So her knees bent, and then she sucks straight into that. She's like, "Oh wait, it's supposed to be bent." No, that was part Stop of the choreography. That was dude. part of the choreography that everybody else missed, dude. Oh, okay, okay. Jeez, Josh. <laughs> but uh, that uh, that wasn't bad. I... Yeah, yeah, I actually liked that one. Yeah, it was nice. It was artsy. Got that, like you know, the message. It's, it's that kind of music video, you know. Mm. We're, we're going out with this this type of message, boys. Mm. So. So next is the second gen mm -hmm. music video. It's called Scout Man. Um, Hori is the center. She Lego, is the Lego. Because who who else would they put in the center as a second gen? Like, mm -hmm. so anyways, this music video is it's just second gen doing the mannequin challenge two years later. Uh huh. Doing it a little late. Kotoko, common face. Yeah, it's just Kotoko being Kotoko. I know, yeah. Dude. I can imagine this music video was like super easy for her. <laughs> she was just like, I do this every time. <laughs> I generally like this kind of shit because it's like, mm -hmm. you're supposed to be frozen, but you're just standing there and try not to blink though. Mm. But that lollipop, dude, it's in the air. So is all oh. of uh, Miria. Right. <laughs> Even oh. the hair makes on. Ah, oh, Ron's a rip, dude. <laughs> With the fucking <laughs> lipstick smear. <laughs> and... Oh, there's actually one of the the staff members messes up in this music video. I'll show you when. Uh, so it's them getting ready to record, right? Is that yeah. what we're going for? See, the Kotoko does it so good. <laughs> that's what she usually does. <laughs> she's, she's just that's just how she is. They're like rushing to the studio. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, the box is falling. That oh, staff Ki member on the floor. There's Kichan. <laughs> Kichan has a cameo because mm -hmm. she couldn't be bothered to do the whole thing. She's like, I'll show up real quick. I'll uh -huh. pick the easiest probably on the floor. <laughs> Let me be like the extra. And there she is again. Everyone generally looks good though. With their oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is the song about? What is it? That reminds me of another song. There's a lot of songs. Like, like an American song. <laughs> Like one that got popular. I don't know. I mean, it's Basically very like... an old 8-bit video game, dude. Yeah, it's like, you know, very electronic. Mm -hmm. It like, has a little bit of that 8-bit like arrangement. Especially in the bass and stuff. Mm. Do the da, 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 da. I don't know. I don't remember. I mean, probably like an old SNES game. No, it's like a, it's like, a, like two years ago or like one year ago song that came out that got popular. There was like a dance for it and everything. I can't remember. I don't know. So there's a lot of standing still and singing mm -hmm. <laughs> in this biggest video. But at least I have I have color and contrast, dude. It's <laughs> so nice to have this again. Mm -hmm. it looks a lot better than the third gen video, that's mm. for sure. And it's kind of nice. They, they have like a more kind of a straightforward, clear... Uh, concept uh, it's story. it's fun yeah mm -hmm. i kind of want them to be like going hard at this part <laughs> that's not part of the music video josh <laughs> look at them trying not to blink because they're supposed to be frozen dude oh this is where guy messes up look at the guy with the green sweater look at him look at his knees i mean he's, <laughs> he's basically like oh. half squatting for the yeah, see, I always let his weight on one leg, dude. He's just—he's trying to hold his balance. Why are you giving him a hard time, Josh? <laughs> it's like I, the, like these, I like these outfits a lot. Uh huh. Uh huh. They're using that like very weird like way where like you have to sing slower, right? Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. not not on this part, but like. But yeah, they'll shoot it in slow motion, and then uh, and like then the song play played in slow motion. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it looks like their mouths are moving slow, but it's. Still the regular song speed. Mm. <laughs> These form fitting dresses. It's very retro looking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It'd be interesting if they did it outside. 
and did the slow motion thing. So I'm like, it looks like they're talking regularly, but then everything in the background is moving fast. But yet they're always standing still. It'd be cool just, to implement that. I'm just sad no one has uh, the beehive hair, dude. <laughs> like the honey, yeah, yeah. Should have made Hori have that hair. Uh, yeah, that was Scout Man. That was second gen. Mm-hmm. It's probably like my favorite key, key video cameo. so far. Um, the song, I'm not sure yet. Mm. Like, I'm not sure if it goes with the video, but it, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But th- there's there's like that quirkiness that does kind of go with the video. Mm. But that's probably like that's definitely my favorite video from the single. Mm. How are they gonna dance that? <laughs> like the end, dude. <laughs> they they were, like stay still the whole time. There was choreography the at the end, Josh. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> but um, yeah. So that's yeah. some young Zaka videos. Mm-hmm. A lot of shit. Mm-hmm. Jimmy, which one was your favorite? Mm, you know, as as much as uh. I, I dump on it. I think mine was probably Doki Toki Meki Meki. I've definitely seen the most gifs out of that video. It's uh, it, it, it's just a really cute video, you know. That's and uh, 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 my my only one complaint with that, and it's a pretty egregious one, is just yeah, the the filter That's is too hard, man. The, uh, the video can be like how good a video is can be judged by how many gifs it can produce. Oh yeah, dude, that's a high GIF turnout video, dude. Yeah. I think it's uh, that one in the second gen video, definitely. Yeah, I like the first gen one. Just because the technicality. Because uh, Manatsu's in it, yes. Uh, of course. <laughs> of course. I don't know. How you guys are so quick to always say that. <laughs> it's a I it's, joke. I can't. I can't end it now, Josh. It's <laughs> it's it's this, legacy at this point. This type of thing keeps keeps rolling. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, that's that's the topics for the week, man. That's, except, no, that's more stuff. Oh shit! I did not see that thing at the end. Because uh, Josh has added it right now. Yeah, no, keeps going. One before that. Um, so ikudon, don don ikudon, ikuta don. don will reprise her role as Colette. Um, for Lemis, which is going back to the stage next year. Mm-hmm. It's like triple casted, right? Um, like two other actresses are, are portraying the same character. So uh, it's going to start April 2019. We'll, so almost exactly a year. We'll run to May uh, at the Tokyo Imperial Theater. Mm. <laughs> the, the theater. That's quite interesting because usually... Not, well, not usually. Maybe I'm just thinking of idle, idle stage plays mm-hmm. where they last for like two weekends and that's it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe Le Mis was really popular and they wanted it back. You know? Yeah, I mean, if they're doing another another showing of it. Yeah, I mean, she, she they even promote, uh, they like, performed some of the songs on like TV and stuff, like music mm-hmm. variety shows. Oh, yeah, uh-huh, I remember that. So, I'm waiting for that Naruto musical. Though. So, so. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's uh, yeah, we can never watch these things, man. Uh, so why do I care? <laughs> anyway, moving right along, Nojo Ami is, is caught up in some bullshit. Is this okay? Uh, apparently, it's. She there's some photos of her with the dude who she starred with in the Utena stage play, right? Is that is that fair to say? Yes. Is that what, is that where it's from? I'm just looking at the pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Do you recognize the guy? Is that why? No, there's a poster of it. it. Yeah. She's is it, she oh, is in a in a stage play. They went on a date, I guess, at a power spot, which is a very like Asian thing, right? So I'll give you the energy, the positive vibes. Please get, please give us the good vibes for this uh, play. Oh, uh, anyway, the, the articles are saying that they went on a date or whatever. There's a video. Oh, is there? I had to find it. <laughs> oh, I thought you linked it. Well, I'm just clicking on these articles. It's like, but look. this has to be for something, right? There's a lot of video of it. 
Well, the, no, the, like there's videos of her going into, like in his car and like his apartment and stuff. Like, like them walking together and shit yeah. in the forest and shit, uh-huh. dude. No, just like, oh fuck. <laughs> she like <laughs> turns around, like, oh shit, bro. There's there's more like in the in the shot, they, the dude actually follows them like to their car, which is mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah, that's a little bit much. Yeah. Dude. Yeah, what's with this shot of, like, is that the photographer? I'm assuming it's the photographer behind her. Yeah. And, and she's like, she's, trying- like, getting in the car, and the guy's, like, like right next to her. Where was the the guy? Like That's not, like, no, no, you need to get a better date at the very least, dude. The guy wasn't like, even, like, hey, back off, man. Yeah, dude, I would deck the freaking dude, dude. Just, like, oh, oh my God, dude. It's just, like. I guess that's the last of their date. Like, man, he didn't even protect me. What a <laughs> he just kept on walking. I had to walk back. I had to go crazy. Right, he just like again. Nah, I, I don't know this woman. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Like, because I, I, I think it's like the universally understood thing that paparazzi are just scum of the earth, right? Like, mm. if you, if you, even if you like, you're dating a girl and she's got Renai Kinshi, whatever. If, if you at least get the freaking like paparazzi to back off, I feel like most bodas would be like. All right, man. Oh, well played. Suck. What if they're like, no, he's crazy. He attacked the paparazzi. <laughs> nah, no, dude. I mean, not like. <laughs> no, nah, you don't like, like, like just like deck him. But like, <laughs> like just hey, yo, yo, put the camera away. What are you doing? You know, like, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah, put your yeah, camera yeah, away. Just like, be like assertive in your speech or whatever. Mm. But it seems like from the um, from these screenshots, the dude just just like. Uh, seems like he's a baby back bitch. Like he got, he got. It's <laughs> the last end of the day. <laughs> like he got yeah. in the car first. He was like in the driver's seat already, and like. Nojo's walking to the door and the paparazzi <laughs> dude's like right behind her. Like, yeah, dude, why don't you just like, yeah, get get her in the car, get the dude to back off, you get in the car, assert yourself as a man, and then like yeah, leave, you know? Mm. Oh, anyway. Oh, oh, oh. Like let her get in first at least, right? Yeah, dude. Anyway. Uh I, I know I'm like projecting like my my moralities and my ethics on this, but I'm like I don't I don't care that, that Nojo's dating a dude or not. Mm-hmm. Like she's a grown woman, she can do whatever she wants. Like I get it. like as far as like professionally, I know that's not the case because she does have a contract. But as far as how I feel about it, she can do whatever she wants. But yo, at least let the guy not be a punk though. You know, yeah, <laughs> like, come on, man. I bet you all her fans are like, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm not even a hardcore come Nojo on, fan, man. And then I'm just like, Ugh. I don't know. What do you think? What do you guys think they'll do? What, what will? No exactly. Will they not ignore they, it? Will they <laughs> not a goddamn thing? Everything else has. Well, I mean, like, I'm just looking back at uh, Matsumura's thing right, a couple years back. Just like that, I just got sucked under the rug eventually. Well, no, that well, that, that no, half like, cost eventually. them the Kohaku spot. I know, but, but like yeah. eventually, like they pretend like it doesn't happen at all. Like it didn't. Happen. Of course, that's what the other group is doing nowadays. They just yeah, yeah, like, yeah. ignore it completely, right? They're mm-hmm. like, whatever. Yeah. Um, because that's just like a thing that the fans like projected onto any mm. any of the members, right? Like, mm-hmm. like it is a contract technically, right? But it's like as far as we know, yeah. Well, but like in the like end, they is, can do whatever they want. Right? This yeah, isn't yeah. like it's kind of apples and oranges, right? Because like, yeah, it's both dating thing, but I think the Matsumura one had like oh, the yeah, added addition of like the dude being like like potential nepotism. From a business standpoint, because he worked for a magazine that uh, uh, right, she right. shot gravy for, right? Mm-hmm. And then he was also married on top of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this one I, is quite different. It's because uh, it's it's just like two starring actors. So of up. course they're gonna, they're, <laughs> of course they're gonna be close or whatever. Uh-huh. I mean, there's uh-huh. been yeah, yeah. like cases before uh, where um, an idol got with the dude because of a stage play, right? Mm-hmm. So so lesson learned. I'm going to start auditioning for stage plays in Japan, dude. I will star <laughs> as whoever. Hey, I, 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 I did musical theater in high school. I can do this. Oh, there this. you go. I, I did improv in middle school and high school. I uh, hated acting. But I'll try. <laughs> I can show you the God damn it, I'll try. World. Shining, shimmering, splendid. I'll, I'll be Jasmine, bro. <laughs> A whole new <laughs> world. <laughs> but, um... But yeah, it's uh whatever. Uh, I don't. Uh, yeah, I, I just. The slow podcast doesn't care. Yeah. We only <laughs> care because 
the dude wasn't a man. <laughs> no joke. That's the theme of today's show. Come on, man. Like, okay, do you think Tagosh would have handled it like that, dude? Tagosh would have seduced the dude, <laughs> taking the video. <laughs> Or Tegosh would be like, go ahead, publish that shit. <laughs> <laughs> and then he'll seduce the paparazzi. Just pose for the picture real quick. And Nojo would be like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to be our time. Uh, what, if uh, they brought a, what if they brought a camera around and pretended he was like just taking pictures? Do you think they would have gotten away with it? No, if if you look at the like location, it was just the two of them. There was no one else mm-hmm. there. No one, yeah, it was like an it, yeah. But I, I feel like, see, the thing is like... Why react like that? Like, the second you react, like, the way that Nojo did, like, and like, and the dude, right? Like, like, oh, oh. Then you're, like, admitting fault, right? Like, mm. why not? Why not? Like, just they were be- just like, oh, hey. Like, like, saying hi to the camera. Yeah, yeah. Then, like, oh, what are you guys <laughs> doing? Like, oh, we, you know, we just decided to hang out to get to know each other better because, uh. We went to a power spot, show. you know, for, for our stage play. To, to give support to the stage That's play. That's what Western celebrities. Yeah. Mm. Or the very least, like, you know, we're just trying to get some get some chemistry going for our stage play, you know? Like, I don't know. Like, it's just we're easier research, to... Doing research. It's just easier to act with people you know better. It's just a common thing, right? Like, mm-hmm. like granted, that that's not always the case, but if you can get... If you can, like, be cool with the person you're acting with, it helps. So, like... Mm-hmm. Right? It's not like they don't have a reason to be hanging out, you know? Like... I, 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 mean, I want one of the idols to be, like... And, and obviously, <laughs> and obviously, people are like gonna not believe it. But at the same time, it's just like. But then, on the other hand, when you just go, oh, oh, then, oh god, get in the car. <laughs> yeah, then it's just like, oh, okay, now, now you you know that you're doing something you're not supposed to be doing. Mm, you know, mm-hmm. it's like little kids who like hide hide the bad thing that they're doing. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I don't really care, but I think their reaction to it was bad. Yeah. But, yeah, dude. Well, it's, been three, it's been three days, so I think nothing's going to happen because of this. It should. Nothing should happen. Yeah. I don't, mm-hmm. it, you know, she. it sucks to say, it, but honestly, I don't think she's a popular enough member for people to, like, mm-hmm. really care. Yeah, yeah. You know, it was like, should I, she, my, gets yeah, caught on a deal. Yeah, it, it'll be, like, big news. But then mm-hmm. the, for the majority then, of the world. My end's like, dude would have been like, hey. <laughs> yeah, dude. But- Back off the camera, man. <laughs> See, that's why she hasn't gotten a scandal yet, dude. Because she's dating, a, she's dating, a, she's dating a dude that like, yeah, they're like, oh crap, I can't, I don't want to, I don't want to film that guy. Either that or like the Boonshin people are, you know, quickly erased. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently, they, they have another, another thing for next month about a Senbatsu member. So have you have you noticed that no one from the other group was like super popular uh, has gotten into like a really serious scandal. Except the one with Tegosh. And look at what happened to that. Nothing. <laughs> yeah, nothing. A sacrificial right? lamb. They dude, gave her a day happened. off. And then <laughs> no one else, like, no one talked about it anymore. Yeah. Like, the, the paparazzi dudes were silenced. So, <laughs> oh, uh, oh, okay. Because uh, OJS. <laughs> OJS killed him. <laughs> <laughs> Just a bunch of G-chans and, and, right, and helicopters the, with snipers. Ex, like, ex-police officers, you know. <laughs> Like, oh, there was a delay in the subway. Oh mm-hmm. no, whatever. You see, like the OJS dude, just, uh, just his hat walking, <laughs> walking out of the, walking out put, of the put, subway, putting something in his briefcase, and then just walking away. <laughs> <laughs> just, you gotta protect your assets. Mm-hmm. Anyway, is that it? That's Are we it done for with the topics. topics now? Okay, uh, we're finally done. With the we're late into the show, but we still got the TV show roundup, which you said would take up the most time. <laughs> you warned everyone. Oh, so, oh yeah. no. Oh, there's so much. Oh, Try God. Oh, 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 okay. Oh. The TV show Roundup. We and need, like, a sound bite for this. Yeah, if anyone yeah. wants to make, a, make like, a little sound bite and send it to us, you can go ahead and do that on Twitter. Like, a really cool, like, intro thing. Mm-hmm. But, unfortunately, uh, nowadays, it's going to be four shows. Mm-hmm. Today, we have five. Um, so, Kea Bingo 4 started airing. The he- What the hell is Hiragano? Ah! Uh, I guess we should do a full coverage of this since it's new. It's the first episode. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, it's special. Them, so, but they hit us with the classic, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dude. I mm-hmm. did not like. Who would have thought? Mm-hmm. Kia Bingo coming back with the return of the Muchaburi Dodgeball. Mm-hmm. Da, 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 Much missed. Da, da, dude, no lie. Muchaburi Dodgeball is a segment that got me into idols. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> this was a staple of the other groups. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dude. Uh, they don't, they're too show. good to do this now, apparently. But it's, uh, it's been a very long time mm-hmm. since Mucha Bur- Even I don't even think Kanji did this, right? Did Kanji did no, this? I don't think they did. I know Nogizaka has. Nogizaka's done it against the other group, right? So, um, yeah. Anyway, Uncle Sandwich Man idea. are the hosts. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a... I think it's it's a kind of funny dynamic with them in, in Hiragana. Because Hirag- a lot of Hiragana girls are young, right? And, mm-hmm. and Sandwich Man looks like they're uncles. Uh-huh. He's like, oh, I'll give you candy later. <laughs> but anyway, it's it's first gen versus second gen mm-hmm. uh, Hiragana. Mm-hmm. And so the first Muchaburi was the classic balloon in the shirt. It's big and it mm-hmm. moves. Mm-hmm. So, classic. You know, we got, like, we got the dodgeball going. Mm-hmm. That Haruki Chan with the. <laughs> I'm gonna throw oh, it over oh, here. Oh, oh. And then, uh, you know, Higashimura catches it and pegs Kosaka now. Mm-hmm. <sighs> the, the hope, the, dude. Yeah, the hope <laughs> of, of second gen Hiragana. And so she has to suffer the thing, but then as they're blowing up the balloon, it gets disconnected mm-hmm. from, the, the, from the tank. And they're like, yo, what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sandwich man just goes up, goes up to the staff and like, look at this happening <laughs> and then they're like trying to fix it and shit and yeah. it's taking a while so like the, the makeup dude comes and fixes <laughs> her hair she's like crying <laughs> <laughs> and sandwich like what are you doing we're in the middle of recording he's like <laughs> still real quick the, and runs away her <laughs> that's pretty funny um mm. yeah nice dynamic with everyone involved yeah uh Muchaburi number two was the dude, the make, what was it called originally? Uh, something. Something. Hazukashi makeup. make. Hazukashi, Hazukashi make. make. Yeah. Yeah, but this time they got to do it like Cookie. Cookie's a comedian where he does like monomane, but he like he paints his face to look like another celebrity, and it's mm. like caricatures of other celebrities. Mm. Um, was he going so, for like it or something? <laughs> no, it was supposed to be uh, Shibata Rie or something like that, like one of the one of uh, an entertainer. Mm. Anyway, like Matsuda uh, is a hit from second gen. Mm. And then like they do the makeup and she looks hideous. <laughs> <laughs> Got like the teeth. Uh-huh. And everyone's just like, oh my god. Like first gen is on the floor laughing. Mm. <laughs> um, and like, you know, she doesn't see it until they give her a mirror. And mm. So she has to have it on the whole game because that's mm-hmm. how Hazukashi make is. Mm-hmm. Embarrassing. You gotta last through it. Muchaburi number three was the, the sour noodles once again. Dude, I, I just remember need to get, like a glass of wine to watch this with all these classics, dude. Just <laughs> right, right. Oh. hit me with it. <laughs> mm. uh, the sour noodles. I think Ikuta did this one. Yeah, yeah. She's on well, the, she just it, it, it didn't it wasn't, affect her. Yeah, it didn't affect her. It wasn't part of Muchaburi dodgeball. Right? She just ate it like regular. Yeah, right. I, I don't remember what it was, but but she did eat it. I remember that. We, we talked about it on the forty six hour uh, yeah, special. Yeah. We did. Uh, anyway, Takamoto is out, so finally a point from second gen. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, funny reactions, and they're like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're like, oh, Kato, try it. So yeah. Katoshi, Katoshi comes, and she's like hesitant. Mm-hmm. She finally tries it, like, oh, slurp the noodles. And she's like, mm-hmm. spits you- that shit <laughs> out. <laughs> Katoshi's yeah. freaking hilarious, dude. I- there's it's that gap right she's like really pretty but she's yeah, yeah. she's super derpy and shit and, and i noticed that usually, I the usually they blur the kind of stuff and they like throw the food back but in this case <laughs> they just showed everything she just like <laughs> spits a mouthful it, it, like because it wasn't even chewed up dude it's yeah. like <laughs> she's like just, <laughs> in her mouth and immediately <laughs> i thought it was gonna come out of her nose or something <laughs> hilarious uh next muchaburi was the elastic like thingy elastic. they hold it with their mouth and the they gum, pull yeah. it Supposed to slap it in your face. Uh-huh. Um, it was like this intense back and forth rally. No one was getting hit. Mm. They get like catching the balls and like throwing and it. Ben Miho like, using her basketball skills and uh-huh. shit, like catching it in the air. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. And then Katoshi like like jumped in the air and then like it, like knocked her back with the ball. So she's like, it's yeah, on the floor. Were, yeah, there were a few catches mm. here and there, but uh, eventually uh, Higashimura was eliminated. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, it's the usual shit that happens with that thing when they do the elastic thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, I'm gonna count down, mm-hmm. but she lets go first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like you know, 
if you've seen it, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it's generally pretty funny. Never gets um, old. The last Mujaburi thing has, you know, where it's the one where they bring out the pro wrestler. Mm-hmm. They're like, ah, put you in the submission hold. But, like, they, this has never happened to them before. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. So, like, all right. Uh, the game plays and then Takase Mana is eliminated, I guess. Yeah. So they bring out the pro wrestler. She has, like, fucking kendo stick. She's, like, smacking it's not the, it. U- it's not the usual one, right? No, no. It's not. It's, uh, what's her oh, name? it's not Aja a- Kong. No, it's not her. Uh, it's a younger. I, I don't follow. Yeah, I mean pro wrestling. So, uh, but anyway, she like comes out. And she's like smacking her like Kindle stick on things, and everyone's like panicking because they've uh, never had this happen before. Fucking scared and shit. They're running around the studio. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Kato, she just lays there. Yeah, <laughs> she's like she like plays dead. Uh. <laughs> well, everyone else. You know, running around the like near the exit, they're like at the door and shit. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. It's Hamagishi Hiyori. She, she runs to another area of the studio. It's like where they film the K room segment, and she's like stuck there. Yeah. <laughs> so it was her, and then the pro wrestler, and then everyone else. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, she's trapped. Yeah. And then sandwich is sandwich. Yeah, him. Like, Yo, you're not supposed to see that this is part of the same set. <laughs> you know, Kea room and then the regular Kea room. So she, he like, like drags her out from like outside. Yeah. And she was like freaking crying her eyes out. Mm-hmm. A lot of them were. They were like, holy shit. What is this? <laughs> anyway, the, the, they put her in that sharpshooter. That submission. Mm-hmm. And like, oh, tap out. General shenanigans mm-hmm. involve a pro wrestler uh, anyway second gen ends up winning and then Kea Room of course at the end I never watched Kea Room apparently they talked about in Kea Room how Kyoko like didn't want to touch the ball at all so she kept on dodging it so the second gen were like going after her <laughs> ah, of course um, yeah you know they all wear pajamas and stuff mm-hmm Yeah, next week, more of the same. Not dodgeball, mm-hmm. but just like physical, physical humor stuff. Mm-hmm. Like that. Yeah, that's what I think. That's what people like about the bingos, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Really it's it. still like, I mean, they could keep recycling the games, but as long as it's new girls, mm-hmm. I think people mm-hmm. will watch it. Mm-hmm. The, they be people be down to watch that stuff. Mm-hmm. I'd be down to watch it again on the other show. Mm. That needs to come. Yeah, that needs to come back. I, I think it is. Like I like I like the talk sh- segments they have and stuff, but like give me one time in a while, yeah. Give me mm-hmm. the future, but we don't talk about them there. Yeah, 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 we don't talk about them. So yeah, that was K Bingo. Uh, more next week. Yeah. Uh, the other Hiragana show, Hiragana Oshi, they're continuing with the first gen uh, profiles. So Kyonko, you know, mm. she likes ramen, <laughs> and she does. She has this like weird language where she adds a babi bubebo after mm-hmm. every syllable. Mm. Uh, and she does it. She's quite proficient at this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, Didn't I think it was Wakatsuki who who did something similar when, when like they were introducing themselves like, uh, really? near the beginning. But I think she used ta, ta, tatsu ta whatever. It sounds <laughs> like completely tutu. foreign when that she one. does it. Uh, yeah, it sounds like a different language. And she does it really fast, but like Kumi mm-hmm. can understand it for some reason. Mm-hmm. And she she's they're like talking to each other, and Audrey's like. What the fuck? Yeah, like what is going what? on? A bunch of weirdos. <laughs> anyway, Kat- Katoshi was next. <laughs> they start doing Hengao for some reason. It's like, oh, Kasuga, don't lose to her. So they like, do this face off. <laughs> yeah, so then they're all doing weird faces. It's like her, her special skill thing. Uh, it's like, I, I know what Kyonko's ass feels like. Mm. You can blindfold me too. So mm. like, they get very oh, skills to stand in front of her. But does she though? And then she's, you know, she's like really feeling the booty. She's, she's, like she's, going, she's going through the crack and everything. Like under, and she's like, hmm. She's like, oh, not Saito Kyoko. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, is this? A, they're like, yes. Uh, if it is Saito Kyoko, it's yes, Saito Kyoko. <laughs> so like, Kyoko goes out there and stands and she's like, mm, not Saito Kyoko. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, eh. it's, like, it's like, oh, shit. I thought it was her. I was kind of like, ah. 
<laughs> debating on if, if it was her or not, and when she, she like starts crying, she's mm. like, oh, I fail at my own skills. <laughs> the shit's funny because like when they introduce him, it's like, oh, look at this girl's special skill. It's like mm. mutant powers or something. <laughs> I can tell if it's yeah. her butt, dude. Right? It's like uh, instead of healing factor, is I can tell my friend's booty. <laughs> it's a very uh, useful power. Next is Higashimura, and she has that color guard thing. Uh, mm-hmm. Which she's introduced on Keaki Te Kakenai before, right? So mm-hmm. it's pretty cool. It's flips rifles and shit. Mm-hmm. It's a little too excited. Loses her shoe. Yeah, falls down. <laughs> falls down. That's pretty funny. Mm-hmm. She's she's a very interesting character. Right? She's like very aloof. She's kind yeah, of like yeah, shy. Yeah, yeah. She, she's very. She kind of reminds me of like Kichan. She gives she's me Kichan vibes. Very my pace. Right? Kichan, really. Yeah, that, that's, no, that's, that's what I get. But Kichan's too... like straight up baka and like loud. Yeah. And shit. Higashimura <laughs> no, like, is like really shy. She's like, yeah, Higashimura, but he was like a little too low tension, right? She's just more like my pace where like Kichan's like loud, obnoxious mm, dummy. Okay, like, yeah, she's yeah, kind of like, that, yeah. she's closer to Berika. Yeah, like, yeah. They yeah, don't yeah. speak that much. But she's, she's mm. Like Kichan's willing to like interject even though she's super dumb. Mm, okay, okay, I see. You know what I mean? You might be thinking of her hair. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe that's what I <laughs> Yeah, they both have the little uh, yeah, mm-hmm. out curl. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty cool. I'd like to see her do it more. Kumi was next. She likes sharks, apparently. Mm-hmm. Um, also, <laughs> she also likes the giants. I'll let mm-hmm. Josh intro to her. Cause, you know, Josh. Go ahead, Josh. I should. Uh, so so she, she sings the support song. I think she did it on on the other show as well. It's on Kiyaki Takaganai. And um, so she does a song, and then they're like, wait, that, that guy doesn't even play for the Giants anymore. <laughs> and then like, and she's like, yeah, but this is a song, so. And she's like, you says, know, she can get loud and whatever. Yeah, yeah. And, and they're like, oh, how loud can you get? So she, like, screams his name. And they're like, oh, that is pretty loud. And then they make uh, Mirei come up, and like, oh, I, I could also be loud, which is part of the next segment. And she's like, oh, that's my special ability. So she, like, <laughs> screams. She's banshee, dude. <laughs> she, she just screams. screams. High-pitched. How could that be your skill? Doesn't she know like three languages or some shit? I know, right? Oh, tell, tell that to Banshee from the X Men, dude. Oh, there. See, we actually have a mutant power over here. Yeah, so dude. There go. You know, picking out a girl's butt. Oh, here, let Takamoto is next. She also kind of has a mutant power. <laughs> I I know each member. Jimmy, stop playing with the coin. Or use metal. I just so, I like, just slid it over, and then the the, the, uh, the, the thick one fell off of the the small one. It's, uh, anyway, sorry. it's it's kind of the same with uh, Katoshi, right? Like, oh, what you're saying here, she's all blindfolded. She's like, she's like, yes, Saito Kyoko. I'm like, oh mm-hmm. shit, dude, you're right. And she was like, dude, I I knew it was her, like even before she sat down in front of mm-hmm. me. Damn, son. So like, Higashimura was next. And she le- leaned in a little too close. <laughs> Just pop. <laughs> it's back there. Smacks her nose. So uh, Iguchi was last. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's like the little intro VTR, and she's like running through like a thing of birds. Yeah, like like everyone's like like in a nice field, like you know it has like the filter and everything. They're being all nice, and then she's Iuchi, and then all of a sudden she's like chasing birds. <laughs> she's like doing like this derpy run. I'm like yeah. what the hell? So funny. And her thing was like, I I want to uh, be able to read like a news script, like a news anchor. Mm-hmm. And she's awful at it. She couldn't even read the kanji and stuff. And like yo, you she, like, suck. Dude. Read a line. <laughs> This is, this is terrible. So that was the end. Next week, second gen. Uh, mm-hmm. Which, to me, Lego. seems a lot more interesting. Lego. Mm. Uh, yep. And so the third, Kiyaki okay, Zaki 46. Oh, let's go. Uh, Kiyaki okay. continuing with how Oda Nana is so goddamn popular. This time, the, the six girls from the last week, you know, give more testimonials. Dude. This mm. is why I love Oda Nana. She's mm-hmm. so cool because she did such and such. Mm-hmm. And then, like Sheeta tries to cover her like mouth yawning and she gets called out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like the camera like comes out like pay attention to Sheeta. You just yeah. hear like you know, she's trying to cover her mouth. Yeah. Like, yeah, oh, these stories are so boring, bruh. What the heck? She's <laughs> like, yeah, dude, uh, you know, I'm not she likes she prefers Chirai Hito, dude. Yeah. Not a yeah. Yeah, not, yeah. not someone Yasashi and I'm like, oh dude, I'm not Chirai mm. enough, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so the the next part was like this little trivia but only like within the six of them. Mm. They would each say, say like a, 
Odanana trivia, and mm-hmm. then if the others didn't know, they would say Kuyashi or whatever the fuck. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And basically, whoever like knew the most secretive info about her, like one. Like, well, the, see, that's what they said, but that's not the one that won, though. Oh yeah, well that yeah. Right, like the most secretive one was uh, the, the what is it? The mole, the yeah. Birthmark. Like uh, Susan Mole was like, oh yo, she got a birthmark behind her right yeah, ear. Odanana didn't even know. Yeah, yeah, she's, she's, like, like, she's like what? <laughs> And everyone's like, like, how do you know so much? It's like, well, I touch her a lot. Yeah. (laughs) It's funny because, like, most of the trivia was more like a roast. (laughs) (laughs) Dude. Uh, Like, how how dumb she is or whatever. Her towel is steak, dude. You're supposed to be praising her. What is this? And then (laughs) they had this stupid music video (laughs) where, like, they all sang Umarete Hajimete, but they changed the lyrics to, like... (laughs) Just appreciate Odanana. Omana, uh, Odanana. Mm-hmm. Everyone's singing in falsetto because no one can sing, right? And shit. So <laughs> yeah, I was going to say that like when I was watching, I was like, uh, you can really hear how bad the members are on their own. No. Like, this, there's Use no, your there's real not, voice. There's not much production, you know? So there's there's no saving it in post because mm-hmm. it's just like a cheap little like fun thing. Mm-hmm. Fuck it. Just sing on falsetto. Who cares? <laughs> 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 so funny like Sheeta starts crying because she was oh, yeah. moved <laughs> <laughs> that's my girl so, like, dude so like everyone else starts crying yeah. like what the hell is wrong with you people this isn't supposed to be that way <laughs> everyone's just like oh. dude I, I honestly kind of missed this I don't know there was just something about this I was like ah oh, I love this group mm-hmm. I haven't felt this way in a long time because I've been so angry with them dude not the girls <laughs> but just that like the group itself like the management and just, such right yeah just the circumstances that's yeah like, but then like the last couple months it's, yeah but then just watching there just be kind of like derps and stuff again was just like oh. I mean it's currently be it's currently on the low but it's coming it's coming up yeah yeah, yeah I think so dude this this the the last the, this episode and the first part of course were I think like a really good start yeah we'll mm. see you know when when Techi gets back on <laughs> After she finishes her movie. Yeah, uh-huh. dude. Let's go, dude. Let's <laughs> well, go. Well the, the, the team is back together again, dude. <laughs> they might as well put, put the put the stand in like the other group did. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, yeah. And then um, at the end, they did the little recap of the second anniversary shows. Mm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, I thought the highlights were uh, Koike and Aoi doing Futari Sezon. Mm-hmm. They kind of double-centered, but it was mostly... Uh, like Aoi. It, then Aoi did the soul the soul dance. dance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're like, look at how much she gambatad, bro. <laughs> dude, them she's always arms, practicing. Mm-hmm. It's like, wow, look at you. But let's not forget Sugai Sama with her Fukio on screen. Yeah, that was intense, bro. Yeah, I was like, oh, <laughs> like I heard, oh, yeah! on, I heard people talk about it on Twitter, but I didn't expect it. Uh, yeah, it looked pretty good. Um, uh-huh. So I actually want to watch this concert because for oh, yeah. one. They do full songs, unlike Nogizaka. And two, they switched around a bunch of the centers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dude. Nice. Mm-hmm. And um, at the very end, it shows uh, Tsuchi and Sawabe go meet them after. Uh, Tsuchi and Sawabe went different days. I think Tsuchi went second day, Sawabe went third day. Mm-hmm. So they, uh, yeah, that shit was good. And Sawabe mm-hmm. was like, I uh, I missed the opening part, though. And they were like, yo, what the heck? It was pretty funny. Mm-hmm. Um. But watch watch the music video part, I guess. It was yeah. kind of cringy, but at the same time, it was really funny. <laughs> it, it's uh, it's cringy in a nice way, though. Yeah, yeah. It's, like, it's, not, it's not supposed to... It comes from a good to, place. It comes from a good place. Yeah, it's not supposed to be good. You just got to remember that. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, like, yeah. There's also the lyrics, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. What a man mm-hmm. which is. But anyway, uh, that was Kiyakaki. And then, and then Shida was the highlight of that episode, dude. <laughs> Went from yawning to like, ooh, ooh, not not Odanana. It wasn't Odanana. She was not yeah, no. the highlight. Not the episode uh, about Odanana, dude. No. <laughs> um. So Nogizaka has one show. One. Well, they have two, but we don't talk about the other one. Oh, the one where they go see like like people working part time jobs. Yeah. Nah, I'll give a quick I, recap since I saw it. <laughs> okay, we'll do that after. Um, okay. Nogichu, they're continuing with the third gen stuff. Um. Actually some dirt on the third gens this time last mm. last episode was a little bit more wholesome but some more dirt from the family and we're like yo itoriria used to like 
dress up as dudes and oh, post yeah. their pictures on the internet. Mm-hmm. Oh. I think this was before she actually joined Noxaita. Mm-hmm. And she was like, mother, why would you do this to me? <laughs> 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 and she had like wigs and stuff looking mm-hmm. like boys. Mm-hmm. Oh, and everyone's like, yo, what? <laughs> mm-hmm. She's all crying like, oh, please. <laughs> the embarrassment is too much. I'm going to die. See, she's, she's lucky that Matsuyurena is not still in Nogizaka, dude. Oh, no. that would have <laughs> been a like- disaster. <laughs> Come here, little girl. <laughs> Rena, please don't go to jail. And then Ren Tan, uh, like she eats like half her food and wraps mm-hmm. it. And she would write like a little message on the wrap, like, please don't eat this. I'm going to, I'm saving it. But then she would just eat whatever like food was prepared for the next day. She, she, like she wouldn't eat the <laughs> stuff that was wrapped anyway. <laughs> And they're like, what's wrong with you? Um, and then they were talking about some strong points. Uh, the only one worth mentioning really was Kubo's. Because uh, the other group's song was popular back then. Mm-hmm. When she was younger and she was like, I could dance like that too. So she bought a mic stand just to do the choreography. Mm-hmm. They're like, you didn't even buy a mic? Nah, dude, I just bought the mic stand. That's all you need, dude. Uh-huh that choreography so dependent on the mic stand mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and then the weak point some more dirt here Kaede's mom was like yo she's not really that loud you know she doesn't raise her voice and stuff mm-hmm. and then Banana Man this, <laughs> this the Yahoo thing they've done this many times before yeah, yeah. right mm-hmm. like, alright alright uh, Sato say Yahoo really loud mm-hmm. and she was like alright that was sufficiently loud and so they start picking on the quiet girls right it's like oh uh-huh. Hoshino, do it. Mm. Hoshino was, was all cute and stuff. Yeah. It's like I told you to do a cute, like a, a loud version, not a cute yeah. one, dude. What is this? Yeah. <laughs> and then, like, I look Kimura. Look at Kimura. He can do it. And he's like, Yahoo, all loud. It's like, ah, oh, Sasuga, dude. That's Mr. Yahoo. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, how about, how about Nishino? Nishino can do it. And she was like, surprisingly, really, really loud. Yeah. <laughs> and they're like, yo, what the hell, dude? She was the loudest <laughs> one. <laughs> Try to pick on Ranze. <laughs> Ranze's voice was all messed up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, that part was pretty funny. Mm-hmm. And uh, the next one, like, Nakamura Reno. It's like, yo, she's not really athletic. She can't dribble a basketball for shit. Mm-hmm. So they have her, like, dribble and shoot. Mm-hmm. And she was, she actually can. Yeah, she, she like, did and it okay. Like, why, she, like, why did, why did we even do this right it. now? And apparently she... She was like practicing or something. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> That's cheating, man. And so She's like, yo, you okay. already made me dumb. I gotta have something. Yeah, right? you're right. <laughs> let's let's get Ikoma. Ikoma do it. Ikoma's like terrified of a basketball. He like they like pass to her. She's like <laughs> they they pass to her and just like hits her shoulder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's like screaming and stuff. Uh, of course she fails. I'm like mm-hmm. okay, whatever. Let's, let's then have Josh's, Josh's favorite. Josh's favorite Manatsu. She will do it. And mm-hmm. Manatsu's terrible too. Mm-hmm. Shara like, was like, "Nah, dude, you're you're faking this. You're making yeah, you know, you're making yourself uh, look bad." For I see your eyes time. following the basketball, but your hand isn't. <laughs> look, look at you. And then uh, they're like, "Oh, Asuka, let's let's, let's have Asuka do it. She's mm-hmm. never like done this before. You know? She doesn't handle balls, <laughs> and so like she does it, and it's like." Scary, awful. Yeah, but she like she, she like launches the ball like she like throws it so hard on the floor. It just like bounces like way forward. She just like runs to chase yeah, she, it. Like, throws it on the floor and tries to chase it. Yeah, like, almost runs into the the freaking <laughs> basketball thing. Uh-huh. Like, Yo, please, this is too scary. Can we stop. That was pretty funny. I, yeah. That those that last those la- last two segments were mm-hmm. the most interesting to mm-hmm. watch. Mm-hmm. Next week, they climb a mountain. It's yep. Ikoma's last mountaineering <sighs> adventure with Nogizaga because she is Yama no san mm-hmm. Did you see that the Hoshino is there again? <laughs> Even though she's like, no, I don't want to be <laughs> in the next she one. She secretly <laughs> likes it, man. <laughs> but she's That's there why again. everyone likes that Hoshimina gap, dude. Yeah. Mm. She's all cute as an idol, but... Like she's not. She's, she's a punk, dude. Okay, ass kid. Anyway, that's all I watch. But I know Kyonko had a show too. God damn. Uh-huh. So hey, I watched, stop. I, I watched this one. Oh wait, uh, do, do the. Uh, oh, do the Nogizaka one real quick. Yeah. Okay, so they go around, follow a guy who makes cheese, 
and then um they all try some of the cheese and they all like like are, are like in love with it and they're like oh, like, oh shit they go crazy and everything uh and yeah that's the episode okay <laughs> nice thank you for there's the your update. highlight there's your highlight <laughs> uh watch it for them eating and then reacting to how good it tastes um, then we got and then Josh with the, the two-page essay for for Saito <laughs> It was a one-hour long special. <laughs> was so was it uh like its own like a standalone or is it? I think it was a standalone. Yeah, yeah, it's just its own little thing. Okay. Okay, thank God. God damn. So we will um, have to repeat this. So they split it in two. First half was with Mirei and Mana, and the second half was with Kumi and Iguchi. Mm-hmm. Oh, um, first half they go to uh, Insta Buy Ramen Shop. Which is like a famous place that young girls go to take Instagram pictures. And there they take a picture of blue ramen. Gotta get that Insta buy, dude. And the reason why it's they blue can't is have Instagram accounts. The reason they use dot the reason that it's blue is because they use dye. <laughs> She's like, oh, that's all. <laughs> well, how else would it be blue? <laughs> Some blueberry then, um, juice, dude. They they seem to focus a lot on her pre ramen eating technique. So what she does, she puts up her hair and then in the background it plays desire. <laughs> So like if you guys remember she she, she did karaoke with desire yeah, so I thought that it was a nice stuff. connection, um, and then she like goes like this with her hands like this, <laughs> and then she like gets chopsticks and then just just drinks the soup. Um, the massive so yeah. ramen eating. Um, seeing her put up her hair, I just want to see uh, bangless Kyonko. Have you guys seen that picture when she's in high school? Yeah, I shared it in our chat thing. Wow. Yeah, that, that that picture oh. was a uh, worse she than a lot freaking. What is it? I was gonna say it was. It looked funnier than um, Yonetani. Uh, oh, are you thinking the middle school one? The middle yeah. school one. Yeah. No, not that one. There's one of her in high school. And she's oh, like holding two. School. She's like holding two things, and she has like a a, a side part, not things. Yeah. Oh, okay. It makes her look prettier, I think, because like yeah. it elongates her face. Mm-hmm. I think I remember this is okay. This was a while back. You sent this, right? Yeah, I think this is like second episode or something. Okay, yeah, yeah. They need to do one of those episodes where like, were you popular in high school? And mm. be like, fuck yeah, I was. <laughs> and then and then all the fans will be like, yeah, just change your hair back. But anyway. Look. Anyway, uh, it's funny because in every segment, Kyoko eats by herself for like a good like 10 minutes. And the other members just stare and just talk about it. And then like they finally are like, okay, here's your bowl. <laughs> um, it takes so that yeah. long to make three bowls. <laughs> right. Uh, I think I think the different bowls. That's why. And then they try like different flavors. Apparently, the green one tasted fruity. Mm. And the whole time, like Kyunko's going going hard with the winks and the camera peel, because she has her own like her own camera that is only for her. Oh, on the table. And, and, and it's like the shape of ramen. That, that's like the tripod. The tripod is the bowl of ramen, <laughs> and then on top of it is a camera. So then, like whenever she's doing something cute, she like turns towards the camera and then like gives a wink, or or like goes like this, or like makes a heart or stuff like that. <laughs> Bitch, why are you so extra? <laughs> and so then she places. Shut up! This is my show. <laughs> she places that as her number ten on her top ten list of best ramen of all time. And then she goes to a Michelin Michelin star ramen place. Um, it has mint, cloves, roast, roast beef, egg, uh, roasted onion, bamboo shoots, and has camo meat, tori meat, and buta meat. So. Um, Kamo and she says it's that's says, extra. Kamo, I don't know what Kamo is. Is it like deer or something? No, that's if it's like another seagull, like, right? That's a little. That's a little seagull? too extra, dude. I just like a simple tonkotsu ramen. Mm. I thought you best. like your miso ramen now. Your spicy miso. Spicy miso is good too, but tonkotsu is like number one. Dude. Mm. All right, so she puts that as her number nine. So her previous. Does it go through her top ten list? Yeah, it, well, there's like there's a list of her top ten, but she doesn't uh, like go through and talk about every single one. What's Kamo? Kamo Niku? No, Kamo Me is a uh, seagull. What's Kamo? Okay, Kamo Niku. Hey, well, yeah. uh, anyway, what, what else does she? Now do? it's Kumi and Iguchi that join up. Um, and then Kumi's like, <laughs> "What is meat. that? Oh, duck, duck, duck meat. Yeah, sorry, I'm duck. Not... Oh, okay. That's Ugh. that's too much meat, dude. Just." Skeeters. Dude, duck's so good though, but yeah, I mean that's kind of extra for a bowl of ramen. Yeah, so so then um, Kumi's like, "What is that?" And like, she's looking at the bowl of ramen. She's like, "That's kind of weird." Uh, yeah, because it has a camera on it. 
Um, then they eat. Um, what is the the ramen that doesn't have any liquid in it, or like a little bit of liquid? Skimming. Yeah. So, so, so they so you dip it. one where yeah. they dip. No, it's just no. They didn't dip it. It has like some liquid oh. in it, and they just like mix it around. I don't know. I don't oh, know. Hmm. that sounds um, like a Chinese noodle. Like it's just one type shit. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so it's squid ramen. And honestly, this one, this one looked really good. Like I started getting hungry at this point. I was like, "Oh man, this this looks pretty Josh, good." Josh, you never eat a food eating show without <laughs> eating something yourself. Yeah, that's like mistake number one, dude. You always have and to. And it sucks even more because I know I can't eat that. <laughs> so what I'm an like, amateur, uh. dude. <laughs> Josh can't even go eat ramen with us. That's, I know. <laughs> that's awful. But he can have Korean barbecue. Mm-hmm. Uh, so then uh, it's funny because Iguchi starts eating, but she like. Just stuffs everything in her mouth. <laughs> She's a starving child or something. She's the old gooey queen, dude. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, yeah, then Niguchi's like... No, then everyone's like, oh, I don't know what this is. I don't know what it tastes like. And Niguchi's like, what? You guys don't know what it tastes like? Oh, I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, then they eat different stuff. Then they start eating a spicy a spicy one. And then they're like, oh, this is pretty spicy. So Iguchi's like, let me get a spicy one. And then everyone's like, oh no, this is way too much. And then they start like coughing and everything. Iguchi's like, just hit me with more. And like, it's almost all powder. And she's like, oh yeah, now it's good. So it I feel like, like she would crush the spicy noodle challenge. Yeah, dude. Mm-hmm. Which is basically like a normal pack of noodles in Korea. Mm-hmm. But like all these YouTubers are like, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> and she put this one as, as a number 10. And in order not to... Put the other shop she went to down. She tied it with the blue with the blue ramen place. Oh man, come on! <laughs> Gotta yeah, be I, more. I need you to be objective, dude. Yeah. And then and then she went to a ramen place. I I think she said this. I'm not too sure, but apparently it inspired the Jiroke ramen. Like a type of ramen. I think it's a type of ramen. Yeah. Um. And then like they they try to like order some toppings all together but they like aren't syn- synchronized so then, like they say all, all out of whack and the guy's like uh okay yeah i'll just put you everything first <laughs> um and then um it's like a the, the whole big old bowl and then the bean sprouts on top and, oh like, the, i know that one. Oh yeah, the yeah, ingredi- yeah, yeah the ingredients are like overflowing to the point where like there's liquid on the bottom plate and everything mm-hmm. and I she's like like bean sprouts yeah she's like i'm not gonna eat all these bean sprouts <laughs> so she like gives it to the rest of the members and then she's like, okay, let me taste it. And then have them thick noodles. So I got even hungrier. Um, and I had thick meat as well. So I got even hungrier. Chick cuts. Um, dude, that's why you gotta be eating like a bucket of fried chicken while you watch this stuff, dude. <laughs> I can't eat fried chicken. Um, uh, then we have Iguchi, who <laughs> like, sure. drops her egg, drops eggs and everything. But nobody lo- looks at her. So she's like, like pretending nothing happened. <laughs> In the background, but then like the camera like points it out, and then she places it as her number two, oh, on her shit. top ten spots. So it seems like this place is pretty good. Make sure to go check out all these places. Mm-hmm. And that was the show. It was it was pretty cool, pretty interesting. Got me hungry. So if you want to get hungry, look in some good ramen, and look at Kyoko try to appeal to the camera a lot. Then this is your show. I should get it because she's like my favorite hero down there. So yeah, so I I recommend watching this one. Okay. All right. That's the review. From the, that's the end of the show. We made um, it, guys. Two hours and eighteen oh minutes God. later, we made it. Well, that's including is this as, pre-show. Is this, okay, okay. I was gonna say this is as long as the forty-six hour show we did. As far as okay, no, well, you know what? that was a short pre-show because uh, we only had like one comment. Oh yeah. So the actual episode, uh, so far recording wise, is two hours and ten minutes. So it's as long as that one. Okay, quick end the show. So, <laughs> so yeah, let's start to edit. Uh, <laughs> so thank you all for watching. Please leave your comments down below. That way we can read it in the pre-show and be able to talk about stuff relating to the topics and the comments that you leave. Uh, you can go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Go ahead and listen to us on Spotify, on Google Play, and on iTunes. You can go ahead and check out our individual channels. Follow us on Twitter at slope underscore podcast. Again, that's twitter.com slash slope underscore podcast. And the YouTube channel is at youtube.com slash 
the slope podcast so you go ahead and listen to us and watch us on all those channels and you can keep up to date by subscribing and hitting that bell and knowing exactly when we go live so that does it all for this week i want to thank my fellow hosts for being here and supporting the show and all of you for watching see you next week